Hi everybody, I just wanted to come and share with you another project that I've been working on and this one is, it was made especially for um, this couple and it's a gift for them for their 25th wedding anniversary. So <clears throat> my sister-in-law had asked if I would make this for her, um, so I did. So what I started with was, it's a square canvas, I can't remember exactly, it's roughly 8 by 8 inches in size. And I sprayed it, well I took some um, vintage photo and some walnut stain and I edged around the canvas just to colour it a little bit. I then covered it um, in the back here, you can see some um, what do you call it? texture paste that I used with a um, stencil, a crafters workshop stencil. And it's just, you can see little bits of it in here. I then coloured it, sprayed it with some Cosmic Shimmer and it's the rich gold one that I used which gave it a nice colour and I have added then this is a Michael's picture frame that I actually embossed used some um, the version mark and put some silver embossing powder just on the edges of it just to have it stand out a bit. Sorry about the glare on the photo, I'm trying not to have it showing, but the window's just up there so you can't help it. So I used some silver, and just the, just a normal silver embossing powder on there. And I then mounted this up onto the canvas, but in the back I've got some cheesecloth that I dyed with some vintage photo as well just to take the white, the, it was quite cream but I wanted it taken down a bit so I've put some of the vintage photo on it. Um, what else have I got on here? I then took one of the doily flowers that Trisha sent me, so thank you Trisha, and I put this down in the bottom here and just made a cluster of flowers around it and again these are from Trisha and this one is from Trisha as well I think and then I had an order for Wild Orchid Cross I've got some of the curly roses some of the lilies I think it is that's in here and some tiny little 10 mil rosebuds that's in the bottom of it so that's it in there just to show you what that's like and I also have in here this is one of the love there's a acrylic love heart that Trisha sent in her my um giveaway prize as well so I've popped that in there too and also down the bottom here there's this lovely kind of satin um, it's like a baby's breath one but it's like a satin one with voile and everything so I've popped that in there as well so coming out from that sorry um, I have got a cherry lind dye that I die cut out in white card and then I colour mister that with some antique green of the um, vintage mists Cosmic Shimmer. So I sprayed it with that just to give the green colour. The colour choice that I was given was orange, green or brown. So this has kind of got all the colour tones in it that it was asked for. Um, I, With some of the flowers I didn't cut off the stems I made curly cues with them so they're just popping out from there as well. So the cherry lind eyes up here, down there and I cut one off and put it coming out from the picture frame on the top here. Um, the 25th is from the Tim Holtz grunge board or paper or whatever it is and so is these little hinges that I put top and bottom here did them in silver and just touched them up with a bit of um, gesso when I was finished I also have you can hardly see them in the back here now but I did have these silver skeleton leaves I'm not sure what I've done with them now but Sandy sent me those so thank you for those Sandy so I used up the silver ones out of this pack and I popped one up in here behind the picture frame and a couple down here and there is a couple in the flower cluster in the bottom but you can hardly see them now so they're kind of out of sight. Um, okay I added this little cherub and I just sort of covered it in some vintage photo as well to take the white way off and just let it tone in with everything. I got this from Sandy as well and I was so delighted with these because I just love these resin cherubs and this one's gorgeous so it fit find in the bottom here the picture frame. Again I've got some little um, 10 mil roses in here and I left the curly cues well left the stems on and made curly cues with them. Here I've got some acrylic breeds on wires which I also got from Trisha so thank you for those Trisha. Um, up in here I'm still seeing glue strands 
up in this corner I have some of the Tuscan, is it Tuscany roses from Orange Lotter Crafts and new ones. I've got one of them in there and again some Tain Mill roses in here. And these have just been touched up with some vintage folk on the edges of them too. Um, this is just a metal butterfly that I had a moustache and I've aged up the wings and things on this with some stickles but it wasn't stickles actually it's the I think it's American Craft the jazz ones and this one is the copper colour so it fit in quite nicely so I've just aged up and put in well you can put gems in the body but I just put some stickles in so it gives it a bit of sparkle um, and then when everything was on here and mounted up what I did was I touched up some of these um, roses as well just with a paintbrush with some of the gold cosmic shimmer rich gold just to add colour in there and then I just went over it and um, brushed over some white gesso here and there over it as well and in the leaves and bits like that just to finish it off and um, that's what I came up with so I hope you like it um, I was quite pleased how it turned out and I hope that um, my sister-in-law likes it and that her the one that she's gifted it to likes it as well so I will give you a closer look at it up and there Sorry for the glare, I'm trying to keep the glare off, but it's just the actual plastic cover that's on the picture frame that does that. And you can see the stickle, the stickles jazz stuff that's on that butterfly there, it captures it and glistens. And I love this cheery Lynn dye because it's so delicate and I just love the effect it gives on a lot of projects. And you can see a bit of the gesso, just white gesso, just to tone it all down a bit. And I really, really like this Michael's picture frame. So pretty. And you can see the skeleton leaves and the cheesecloth there in the background as well. So that is my project I've been working on. And like I say, this one's sold. So it's something else. And I will be back soon because I have some more exciting news to share with you that um, I can't wait to get started on. So I hope you like it. And uh, I'll be back again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.